Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Too excited, I even get a haircut. <laughs> yeah, like most devoted Muslim girls would do in events like this, I get a haircut, full body whitening, I even shave my legs. <laughs> you can totally tell, right? <laughs> and so getting a haircut for hijabis is like wearing a wonder bra for non-hijabis. It enhances your inner beauty. <laughs> and so um, I would like to uh, first and foremost thank you for acknowledging uh, stand-up comic. We don't get this a lot, especially not from our family. My sisters don't think that I'm inspiring at all. I mean, when she first learned about me winning this prize, her first reaction is, is this some kind of a scam? <laughs> You're not still in contact with that Nigerian prince, aren't you? <laughs> They're trying to give you money, but they hijacked your email. Like, and then I said, well, I'm not the only one winning this. I, I shared this with, with two others. So perhaps I can fall into the category of mildly inspiring, <laughs> except that. Okay, and then my sister asked, so who are the other two laureates? Uh, and then I explain. Uh, the first one is uh, El Sexto, who's now currently imprisoned for his provocative art. Give a hand, ladies and gentlemen. And then we have Hirifna, a nonviolent movement uh, against dictatorship in Sudan. My sister stood in silence. Perhaps she thought, two freedom fighters and a funny girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, it is interesting to, uh, interesting? <laughs> it is nice, it is, it is an honor and a privilege to stand here. Um, in front, all of you, my parents will be very, very proud. Not because of the award, but because I'm standing at a very close, uh, no, 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 not a, at a very safe distance with the opposite sex. <laughs> My parents were definitely very proud, and I'm thanking all of you without shaking your hands or touching you. <laughs> and so that will make my parents very proud. And <laughs> yes, and I would like to, of course, acknowledge the beautiful city of Oslo. The Grand Hotel mesmerizes me. What I really don't understand is why do we have, why do we have to use 10 types of different forks and spoons and knives and 10 types of different glass just to eat a plate of dinner? The only explanation that I can give to myself is, I guess, until today, the elites are still very much committed in creating jobs and helping the unemployed, you know? By practicing such lifestyle, we are able to recruit more people to wash dishes, tablecloth, and to prepare the centerpiece. So, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now let's uh, get down to business. I cannot believe I said get down to business. <coughs> kind of business. Uh, <laughs> real, real thank yous. I would like to uh, first and foremost uh, acknowledge the Oslo Freedom Forum. You guys have been very generous and the Human Rights uh, Foundations and uh, everyone, all of the speakers from day one to day two for reminding us that we are all human. And ladies and gentlemen, I guess that is what comedy is all about. Comedy is not about me. Comedy is about you and me. It is about us. It is about us celebrating our humanity, acknowledging that we are all human and by extensions that we are all flawed and that we do not have the right, we do not have the right to feel that we are the rightest of the right, the truest of the truth. We're just human, we are flawed. And I would like to take this opportunity also because these past two days, 
those who are brave and who have voices have been acknowledged. So I would like to dedicate this award for the voiceless, for those who are living in fear, victims of violence, victims of all different kinds of uh, prosecutions against them, victims of their own family even, those who with great courage and bravery, although they realize that they might not ha yet have a voice, but with courage and bravery, say before they go to sleep, let's try again tomorrow. And by that, I hope I can live by the legacy of the great Faglav Havel uh, for living in truth. Thank you very much.